And good morning. We thank you for joining the Come As You Are Ministers once again for a great and glorious Sunday morning. Uh, we're sorry that we're starting a little late. We had a few technical difficulties. You know, the devil is always busy. But we're going to press on and do just what God has called and commissioned us to do. Amen. Uh, as always, we like to say this is the day that the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. For God is good all the time and all the time God is truly good. We thank you for your continued prayers and love and support of this ministry. And we want you to know that this ministry loves you and we are praying for you as well. That God will bless you and God will prosper you in your life. Right now, let's get it right into what God has for us this morning. We're looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 11. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 11. And it reads, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Again, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Let us pray. Dear Father God, we thank and we praise you for this great and glorious opportunity to come before this, your people. And as always, O oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to hide us behind the cross that they will only hear and see you. That you will get the glory, the honor, and the praises out of everything that is said and done here. Father God, we ask you to grab us by the reins of our minds, Father God, and help us to stay focused on your word, your will, and your way. Father, come on in and visit with us. Speak through us and to us, Lord, that your word may go forth. Father God, that we will not only be here, but we will be doers of your word as well. Bless us and bless our time right here with you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. We want to talk to you from the subject, working together really works. Working together really works. In this day and time in which we live, it seems like people spend more time tearing each other down than uplifting each other. It seems that we spend more time, <clears throat> excuse me, talking about and judging and hurting one another. We all know that this is not what God wants us to do. God wants us to help and push each other into the destiny that he has for each and every one of us. It's amazing to me how we can stick together for foolishness, drama, and hate. But for some reason, we can't stick together for positivity, for love, and helping others. It's like we are not happy unless the next person is down and out. But can I tell you something? All of us have been down and out at one point in our life. We are not all born into this world on the top or in great standing. Some of us had to struggle. Some of us had to scratch. Some of us had to scrape just to get to where we are now. Somebody ought to tell God, I thank you that I'm not where I used to be. God has brought us all from a mighty, mighty long way. And we owe him all of the glory, all of the honor, and the praises for it. In this life, we are all equipped to do something, whether it's preaching, teaching, singing, or even playing an instrument. <clears throat> Excuse me. But whatever it is, God has gifted you to do something. The biggest problem that I've ran into in this world and even in the church are the haters, caters, and the debaters, or the holier-than-thou crew. Those that act like they have never done anything wrong in their life, also they are always trying to stop you from doing what God has called and commissioned you to do. They talk about your praise, your gift, your clothes, and your talent that God gave you. They will tell you that God didn't call you to do that, or you're doing it wrong, or you don't look the part. But last I checked, the Bible says in Psalms 139 verses 13 and 14, for thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's room. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Not only that, that not only lets me know that we are made by God and created by God. God fearfully and wonderfully made us. Not only that, if you look at Genesis 1 and 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female. He created them. So that tells me that God made me, and no matter what you may say, think, or feel, we all look good to him. So don't get wrapped up in what folks have to say about your hair, what they have to say about your clothes, or even how you look. Baby, you were created by a powerful God who's all-powerful, all-knowing, all-seeing God who loves us so much. He loves you so much. 
So instead of talking about people and trying to put stumbling blocks in their way because they don't fit into the mold of this place or this church or that church, we should do like the text scripture said in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 11. It says, wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. We're supposed to edify and lift one another up and help each other get to the finishing line. That's why the text is working together really works because if we work together, if we help each other, if we uplift each other, we can all make it. It's not a competition to see who can get there the fastest or who can preach or teach or sing the best, but it's about uplifting and working together so we can all endure to the end. Have I got any help in this house? That's why the Bible says in Hebrews 10, verses 23 to 25, it says, let us hold fast the profession of faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to do good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as a matter of some ill, but exalting one another. And so much the more as ye see the day approaching. We need to hold on to our faith and use that same faith to be a witness to others, to hold on to God's unchanging hand and do his holy and divine will. We are the, to love, hold, support, and help each other in the name of Jesus. It's time out for this putting your brother and your sister down. It's time out for the negativity in this world and even in the church. I can't tell you that God did not call you or equip you to do anything. Only you and God know whether he called you or not. We have to stop all this competition and holding each other back and just begin to work together. Why? Because working together really works. Because when you put your gift with my gift, we can work together and help build the kingdom of God. Have I got a witness in here? If you don't believe me when I say working together really works, let's look at Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 7, where it says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a look from the land. And he sat down and he taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drop. And Simon answered him, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net began to break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon called for help, the others came and helped him in his time of need. They could have said, well, Jesus didn't call us to launch out into the deep. He told you to do it. They could have stayed where they were and pointed their fingers and laughed at them and said, look at y'all sinking because of y'all, because you couldn't handle what God told you to do. Y'all know what I'm talking about. People point and laugh or won't help you because they are not getting any of the credit or they didn't come up with the idea or the project. Glory be to God. They won't help because they are not out front. Y'all don't hear me. They won't help you when they're not out front. They like to be on the front end. But thanks be to God, they don't. They did not do like some people in this world who say they are your friends, your family, or your church members. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. They came right on and helped Simon and his crew out. And when they came to help them, they all worked together and got the fish back to shore, and everybody was blessed. That's why I say working together really works. Because when we work together, we're all blessed. When we work together, we all come out on top. When we work together, we all make it to the finish line. Thank you, Jesus. I like what it said. Just like I said before, when we combine our God-given talents and put them together, we can edify and glorify what? The kingdom of God. When we learn to work together and focus on what God has called us to do, we can go right to where God wants us to be. 
I may not be able to preach or teach like the next minister or the next pastor, but that's not important. We are not here for any shape, form, or fashion. Glory to God. We are not here. We are only here to save souls and uplift the name of Jesus. That's what we're here for. That's what it's all about. Uplifting the name of Jesus and saving souls. Not about how much money we can make. Not about how many butts we can get in the pews. Not about how powerful this, that, and the other is. It's all about the power of God. Not about us. It's all about him. Not us. He gets the glory. He gets the praise. He gets the honor. Not me. Not you. You might not be able to sing like Patti LaBelle or Beyonce or even Tasha Cobb, but don't let that stop you. The Bible says what? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. You might not have Kate Spade, Nike, Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, but at the same time, none of that matters. He can use you even if you're in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Just do what he tells you to do. Get hooked up with the right crew and fight the good fight of faith. Surround yourself with people that will push you, help you, and propel you into the direction that God wants you to go in. Glory be to God. And always remember this. Everyone that says they're your friend, family member, or boo ain't always what they say they are, baby. Trust God. Trust him to put the right people in your path. Trust him to give you the right direction. Trust him to give you the understanding. Trust him to give you the power that you need. Trust him to help you move forward in this life. Trust him to help you stay on the right path. Trust him so you will know what people to allow in your circle and what folk not to allow in your circle. Trust him so he'll lead you to the right place, to the right job, to the right church, to the right house, to the right car, whatever it may be. Trust God to lead you and guide you. Trust God when you're going for that project. Why? Because God will lead you to get connected with the right folk. Why? Because working together really works. When you got your gift, she got her gift, he got his gift, everybody come together. And when we get together, oh, what a time we're going to have uplifting the name of Jesus. Oh, what a time we're going to have praising God. Why? Because we're all on one accord. We're all here for the same thing and the same purpose. And that's what? To uplift the name of Jesus. We're not here for a faction show. We're not here worried about what you got on. We're here to save your soul, help you get to the promised land where God wants all of us to be. That's where he wants. He wants all of us to make it to heaven. He wants all of us to get to know him. He wants all of us to worship and praise him. He wants all of us to serve him. Church, we got to learn to work together. Well, the clock on the wall says that's all. It's been real fun, but Rem McNeil got her on. See you later, alligator. <laughs> and after a while, crocodile. But some people still don't understand where I'm coming from. Some people still don't understand what I'm trying to say. But what I'm trying to tell you is when we began to work together, glory be to God, when we began to worship together and when we began to come together, we're not worried about this person on that side and we're not worried about this person on this side. All of us can receive a blessing from the Lord. All of us can receive a word from the Lord. Why? Because you're not worried about what folks say, think, or feel. They will always talk about you. Because baby, they talked about Jesus. They persecuted Jesus. So what make you any different? Just understand and know God's got me covered. Just understand and know that God got me here. Just understand and know that as long as I got King Jesus, he will take care of me and protect me. Just understand and know that God has you covered. Just understand and know that he called you and commissioned you. That's something I had to learn and understand. You might not have a hundred thousand views. You might not have a hundred thousand followers. But whatever God tell you to do, preach the word. Preach it in season and out, out of season. And like my daddy used to say, I got a charge to keep and a God to glorify. I got to lift up the name of Jesus. It's not about all of this other stuff. It's not about playing church 
but it's about doing the will of God. It's about saying what he wants you to say, moving when he tells you to move. Get around the right people in your circle because when you get around the right people, the idea that God has given you, the, the blessing that he's given you, everybody will be able to enjoy it. The project that he's laid in your lap, if you get around the right people, they will propel you to go forward and to do just what God has called you to do. Glory be to God. We need to understand and know that working together really works. When you're all saved, when you're all on one accord and you're all thinking the same way, God will take you to deeper depths and higher heights. All you got to do is trust him. Get out of the simple fact of dumping down on your sister and brother. Get out of the fact of what people got on. We didn't come for a fashion show. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. And that's all we need to do. Lift him up. Because when we lift him up, he'll do the drawing. 